Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I'd like to give you a quick update on my sales on Zezzle, how it's going. This is a print-on-demand website which is entirely free, very similar to websites like Redbubble or Spreadshirt. The difference is that it's a bit more complicated to upload to Zezzle, but I have done a upload tutorial a few weeks ago, which um, you can find if you search through my videos. And um, yeah, so far I've hit 25 sales after uploading for, let's say, five months to Zazzle. And in the same time period, I've made more, uh, well, I've made less sales on Redbubble than on Zazzle, which I think makes Zazzle a really interesting Redbubble alternative. I guess it always depends on what kind of designs you have. I know that for some people, some platforms work much better than other platforms. And um, it, it's just what it is. I think on Redbubble you're really good when you can sell uh, when you can sell a lot of stickers. I think that's what you know what's happening there mainly. I think stickers are Redbubble's main um, product. And on Zazzle here, I really sell across the board. I've sold stickers, I've sold masks, I've sold T-shirts, and all sorts of things. Also baby bodysuits. And I'm really happy with the 25 sales. Now, what you can see here that the um, the royalties are pretty low. <clears throat> and the reason for that is that in the first few months that I've uploaded to Zazzle, I only had a royalty of 5%, which to be honest is really low. But I just wanted to see how it's going at the time. So I started quite low and then I've um, step by step increased my royalties for new designs that I'm uploading to... 15% now. 15% um, is the maximum that Zazzle recommend, which doesn't mean that you couldn't go higher. And this is what I might do as well, because since I've increased my royalties, I've actually had more sales come in, which is an odd phenomenon, which I've also seen on Redbubble recently. When I increased my royalties, then I had suddenly no new sales. So I don't know why that is the case, but anyway. But all I wanted to tell you today is that I've got more sales on Zazzle than on Redbubble, which means that I know that a lot of people out there, you as well maybe, are struggling to get sales on Redbubble. So why not try one of these platforms like Spreadshirt or Zazzle? Zazzle is, of all the free websites, it's actually my second best performing platform in terms of sales. So just after Spreadshirt, I've got Zazzle now, then I've got Redbubble, and then I think I've got um, Society6. And then all the other ones like Shirty and Tostadora. Now if we have a look at the all the sales here, you can see that in January it started really with some low um, low profit margins really. I then increased the royalties, but not of the products that were already uploaded. Because to my knowledge, you cannot do this. To my knowledge, you cannot change easily all the royalties of the products you've already uploaded on Zazzle. Well, if you know a way, let me know. I don't think you can and you can I think only change them once a month so it's not as straightforward as on Redbubble which I think is very user friendly because then you can you can change it all the time on Redbubble and for all the products as well and all the products that are already uploaded but on Zazzle you have to you can only do it really for new products um, or you have to go manually into each of the products that you have already uploaded and then you can change it there as well but I didn't really want to spend the time so what you can see here of the, the latest sales that have come in, which still show as pending, um, some of these also have quite low royalties. And the reason for that is that these are designs that I uploaded like a month ago. Um, however, these here, for example, of the, on the 9th of May and the 10th of May, they have a higher royalty. So these are some of the newer products that I've uploaded. And also here, the latest one, which is just a sticker pack. And I'm getting 244 for a sticker pack. That's not bad. And I've only recently uploaded that. So... This basically shows that even though I increase the royalties, these these sales are still coming in. So I might actually go, there's no reason why I shouldn't go 20% like I've done on um, on Redbubble recently. But actually since I've gone up to 20%, I, th I think I haven't had another sale on Redbubble. Um, however, here I think it is really worth trying, checking out. Yes, it's a bit more painful to upload especially if you do it manually. So I always recommend use of, use an upload process, um, an automated upload tool. The one I'm using is Flying Upload, as you can see here. For the video, I paused all of these uploads here, but 
actually before the video started, the Zazzle process has just finished. Um, but anyway, I, I, you know, when you use an upload tool, it's a no brainer to upload to Zazzle as well, especially if you can get more sales than on Redbubble. Um, but what, what you also, even though it's more complicated to upload to Zazzle, um, I am making more sales here than on Redbubble with far less designs online. Okay. So where I have, let's say, I, I, can't, I don't know how many, but maybe 5,000 designs online on Redbubble, I only have 1,500 on Zazzle, right? So that is pretty much the difference. Um, so even though it's more complicated to upload, you don't need to spend, uh, you don't need to upload that many designs. At least that is what's happening for me. You know, it could be different for you. I guess it all depends on the designs. But um, yeah, you don't need, to, to my for my experience, you don't need as many designs on Zazzle as you need on Redbubble. And the reason for that might be that, to my, my opinion, is Redbubble is just oversaturated with people. Um, yes, you need to fill out this um, text form when you want to get paid on Zazzle. I think you need to do that on Redbubble as well. I'm 100% sure. Um, maybe not, but I think you need to do this for all US, USA-based um, companies. I don't think, no, I think Redbubble is Australian, so you might not have to do it. Um, but still, I think you need to fill out a form anyway when you're a resident of a different country to um, where they are based. So yeah, this is pretty much what it is. So it's a really good up, um, really good um, progress here. And I just want to let you know that this is really interesting. So... I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.